All right, it's time to do a try of a game here. It might look a little bit interesting. Um, <laughs> it's not supposed to look like this. This is kind of cropped vertically, uh, but this is Guts and Grunts. Uh, let's see here. It's like Contra-like, Turrican-like, mid-paced action game. Lots of shooting and uh, finding power-ups, uh, power earn upgrades and fight for... Freedom of the Pigs, uh, apparently released in January this year. Price is around the 10 euro dollar mark. So it, there is an explanation and uh, you might have already guessed it. Uh, <laughs> running in Direct 3D 11. Uh, right. Seems to be very lightweight. Apparently OBS isn't capturing uh, that uh, this overlay here but all right so first off there's only start the game there is no settings there is nothing whatsoever which is really bad right um when you tab out with it it will also pause the music which isn't the best uh, practice uh, in lightweight games in my opinion um but yeah there is like let me double check here right so this is a not early access anything you know it's a uh, no full release games but zero it's like no settings there's nothing there's only start new game I'm trying this on with the game chair T4K and the D-pad is not working by default, it's the analog stick. Right, let's just get into it. I like running gun and control like games, so... So, first off here, you can see that uh, the game here is uh, in ultra widescreen because I love it that. Uh, and I'm playing my games in, I have a huge monitor, 55 inch 4K, and I like to, you know, play in window mode, and the uh, ultra wide screen fits that perfectly, you know, it's like half the screen vertical height, but, you know, all the horizontal views, it's uh, great. It's great for monitoring OBS, having other windows open, I love that setup for me. And... Uh, there's only two modes in this game. There is this full screen mode, which is borderless full screen, 16 by 9. And then you have a windowed mode. Um, let me see if I can. There we go. Right, and the window mode is just uh, a regular 4K screen. There's no settings, there's nothing I can do. But what you can do is, I hope you can see this. So this is 16 by 9. You have pillar boxes on, you know, the left and right side. But what happens if we just I'm just reducing the vertical height of the of the screen here right of the window of the game and as you can see here on my on the video here you should be able to see is that it expands it horizontal which is a great thing we're not losing height here which means that this game actually supports watch ultra widescreen which is a really fun thing to see in window mode at least right but we can it's still it's only expanding only expanding it's a really fun thing to see now i'm gonna try to play this in this mode because i like this is amazing for running gun maybe you can see here visually see how much more the arena just expands and for 2d games i feel this is amazing okay so the d-pad works and analog works here there is still no settings there's no remapping there's no full screen there's no v-sync there is nothing it's running at uh, 120 frames per second here barely any gpu usage or vram use it's like super lightweight pretty much like uh, not even one thread being maxed out um obviously the hub is all the way to the left and it's you can see here i remove my camera it's because this game is optimized for 16 by 9 by all means uh it's so you know but again i feel that yes no matter 
what aspect ratio unless you are doing a very vertical shoot em up which i think would be really fun to try also on my screen to uh, just have a very you know 1080 by 3840 you know aspect ratio you know inverse 32 by 9 and make it 9 by 32 and try a vertical shoot em up uh, in that screen i think that would be amazing and then you would want the hud to be on your like left and right side but for in 4x3 16 by 9 21 by 9 32 by 9 i think the hud again and again you can visualize the hud here on the left just bring it straight into the middle or you know have it on the top or bottom just center it it's just better but we're gonna get into the shooting app i wanted to just showcase this it's kind of be interesting and also might explain because you can see here on the far right this game is not meant or it's not optimized for 32 by 9 so you can see there's an enemy and this looks like he's gonna run at me he's just standing still there um, but he's probably gonna start running at me and this i think this is a fine i think it would be better if you were uh, if you were a developer if you were to design the game for 32 by 9 and it probably would in most cases work good even if you just then crop it to fit into you know you horizontally crop it to fit into 21 by 9 16 by 9 and 4 by 3 it still probably would work great so let's move forward oh there we go that's when he's supposed to start coming walking because you can see that now he's in the 16 by 9 frame i think this is fine it's obviously a little bit glitchy and I would have loved it if, you know, if the developer would have just been, oh, I'm gonna set this game to support 32 by 9. So this character is gonna walk when, uh, you know, whenever he's in that range of the 32 by 9 aspect ratio. But he won't be visible until he is in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And I also see this problem. I'm sorry for talking. I wanna, I like this 32 by 9. I want more support for it. So I'm gonna just showcase why i think this because i see in this discussion but th that you know it's not gonna work you can't make a game good for 32 by 9 uh, you know have it working fine with 16 by 9 it's here uh, it's gonna be problems you know, because you know if you're playing 16 by 9 and you know then you have 32 by 9 and you have a character shooting at you he's gonna sh shoot you before you see him on the screen uh, well i think you're thinking of the problem in the wrong direction what you should do is that you should have the character being placed optimized for 32 by 9 that the character can do animations and stuff but he won't fire at you until you are in range and that range could be 16 by 9 aspect ratio you know you you don't see that but the game won't fire until your character are in that visible range right but he can still have animation he can do stuff and that will look and work perfectly fine in like 99% of the cases, I would feel like. And again, there's this other thing that say, well, you know, you want characters that kind of like run at you. But it, it it's going to look weird because they're going to be standing just still in 32 by 9. Again, I think you're seeing this in the wrong thing. It's not bad. Like, thinking real life, it's, yeah, why not? Like, you're not always going to be moving like it. And I think it would be perfectly fine if you have a character having some standing still animation and then, you know, at a certain t area he starts running at you. I think that would be perfectly fine. I think the biggest problem here is that you see the character, he looks a little bit weird because he's in this walking animation. So the only thing to like mitigate this problem would be that you could have this enemy have like a more of a the fault when he's not in this 16 by 9 range like idling standing still animation and then you when you get close he starts walking that would fix this so i think optimizing a game for 32 by 9 and then you, you know you can just crop it down to fit 16 by 9 without too much hassles but all right so we have shooting You have eight directionals of firing.
speed. You have you have a kinda a directional. Okay. So the analog stick. Okay, I have limited amount of. Uh, yeah. So eight directional uh, firing only works with the analog stick. I, uh, if I press diagonal on my D-pad, uh, he will shoot up and walk forward. If I press diagonal on my analog stick, he will shoot diagonal and walk. So this game is a serious lack of uh, lots of setting needing here and remapping features. And the Steam overlay is not working, so I can't remap um, the Steam input overlay here. So, can I bring the Steam up here? Let me see if we can do that. Um, hello? Do, 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 do. Uh, manage controller layout. There we go. Edit layout. Uh, like that my right stick should be the that button. There we go. No, does nothing. All right, let's go on. Yeah, I can't seem to get the remapping working. I don't know if he was evil or not, but hey, I'm firing. So we're gonna have to use the analog stick. You're gonna be stuck with the default keys. Keyboard is, seems to not be working. Only gamepad. Um, am I missing something? Blah blah blah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just trying to see. Blah blah blah. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, I want to, I'm sorry, I want to see. So, there is settings, but you have to use the left and right uh, on the on the analog stick. Wow. Okay, options. Right. It seems that you have to use the mouse. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you have to go into... There we go. Then I don't have to do that. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to work. Options. So you have to press, press left and right. Is the remapping available? Okay. Probably not. Um... If I press, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm going to give this the best set. No, you cannot remap. I hear the Steam controller, lay Steam controller layout in the background, though. Two jump, dodge roll is B button. Yeah, but the Steam overlay is not working here. Um... I'm gonna try something. We're gonna just, I'm sorry, quickly do that. To see if I can get controller mapping to work. With my layout. Uh, joystick. Click. And. Let's restart the game. Here we go, we are back into the game. Oops, I clicked and it skipped it. All right, oh, that's fine. All right, so options. All right, so you have a full screen. You have the resolution options. You have a volume, it seems like. it. Someone mentioned that the volume was broken, so I'm not going to mess with it. Let's see forums. 
replay story exit options controls and right that so what is this okay why not <laughs> this has been a messy thing but this is what i want to do and the audio isn't playing anymore okay, another nice little bug here so okay well that makes this uh, story here not that viable <laughs> there's a lot of things like rebinding or getting the steam overlay to work um v-sync on and off and uh, it is interesting here we, we i really feel like at least get proper d-pad support in the menus and in the game here it's all right but all right okay there is no audio whatsoever anim now all of the audio is gone now we have audio okay you were such a grand mutation Your kind was to usher in a golden age of meat production. That is loud. <coughs> Holy shit. I'm... Yeah, these options are broken. Holy crap. You were such a grand mutation. Oh, yeah, this is better. Okay, so the volume slider seems to be kind of working. A golden age of meat production. But there's no music or anything here. Weird. Instead, you rebelled and filled the earth. Now you must be culled for the greater good. All right. Well, uh, let's. That's fine. We can skip this. But yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> No music. Wasn't there music before? I'm gonna have to restart this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. This is this is a buggy, buggy, buggy thing here. Whoa! What the heck is going on? Is there any music here? Yeah, it is. So the music just bugged out completely. But now the music volume here is super low. And that's loud. Okay. Yeah, Steam input is not working at all. Okay, something is broken here. I think it's the volume thing. <sighs> God damn it. Music on. Okay, there we go. Okay. What is going on here? Okay, now we have music again. Okay, apparently that got unticked. Okay, here we go, hopefully. We have some ambience. Let's just try to play. <laughs> but yeah, really nice to see that this game at least lets you choose 32 by 9 Obviously, you can see that it's not optimized in any way for it, but I think it's fine. Uh, but I think, again, that you can get... The optimized game for 32 by 9 is easier to scale it down to 16 by 9 very charming graphic like the music so far it has a little bit of a floaty thing here but we need rebinding or you know at least a steam um, the steam uh, remapping api to working 
I don't know. I'm not sure if this, if it's supposed to be this kind of slow floaty or if the game is running correct or not. I have no idea. Hoping it's running correctly. It seems to support 120 frames. Which is nice. Very smooth looking. Again, I, I would say that bring the HUD to the middle. Yeah, center it. It doesn't matter what type of aspect ratio, you know, pretty much. And try if possible to... I would definitely, again, say it was an uh, optimizing game or making them, uh, you know... Alright, support... Uh, <laughs> okay, support. Um, uh -huh. Support 32 by 9 is probably a good thing. And then you can scale it down to 16 by 9 by cropping and uh, making sure that it works. It probably would be fine. Right? Oh, there we go. I don't have my dodge roll yet here. Alright, lots of destruction. So far, you know, listen up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, they got some mission going. Okay, that's cool. This opens the red doors. Yeah. Right, pretty simple, but still, seems fine. Like in the music. Yeah, and I probably would have liked a little bit of like a faster, less floaty yum. So far. Secrets, I don't know. So, uh, 158 co coins. I have 56 shots of this left. Oh, oops, that's okay. That's not food. You have some missions that you can do. Get all the security cameras. Up every incubator. I think I've done that, maybe. Okay, so you have a freeze. That's not the button that I like, but I can't remap it. But okay, you can stand still and aim by pressing... By pressing the left button there. Oh, right button. Another power-up? I would have preferred to have it on like the right trigger, me personally. But uh, I can't remap it in any way. Pretty much so far, uh, all the missions are destroy everything. <laughs> 
But yeah, no... Oh, wow. Is that all the way... Holy crap. All the way back? So you have one life. That is insta-death. Yeesh! Oops. Come on. Oh, we have a... Red shot. Did I do everything? Uh -huh. Yeah. But yeah, graphic. It's, a, it's simple graphic, but it's sharp, clean works. I like the music, the sound effects so far. Nice. How simple, uh, you know. Simple stuff here, but it's fine. Yeah, it seems to remember my doors that I opened. But I have to like redo all like the... The mission stuff. Yeah, so far it feels pretty, like, interesting, charming, nothing too crazy or anything like that. I do, again, I do really appreciate the, the ultra-wide screen kind of support, even if it's not optimized for it. I still find it's very... very fun that it at least has uh, you know normal support instead of just uh, what most do crop the support <laughs> wait a minute wasn't there something down below I don't have any map so I'm gonna have to like wing it Right, there we go. There is something here. Okay, every... that has been destroyed. Mm. Um, the question is if that yellow portal is the exit or if it is something else. Alright, okay, so that's probably the exit. Probably the exit. How do you get to that? Alright. Let's see what happens if we go into this portal here. Okay, that was the level exit, but I missed something there. Maybe you get some upgrades or something?
Right, so... It's not so pretty simple, at least. Oh, 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 you have to buy 680 coins. Rapid fire, dummy more health. Okay. So can I replay missions or maybe? All right. I wonder if those are permanent upgrades or if they are temporary upgrades. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. The biggest problem so far is that I can't remap any of the settings. Like... I don't know, like the Steam input isn't working at all. I could use my the game search T4K like external application there to to remap, but it's just it should be built into the game. Again, you could see here, like, the enemy there was just standing there and, like, waiting. But, I, again, I don't think that's a problem. Like, that, an, if an enemy just yeah, stands and waits a little bit, uh, that to me is just, that's fine. It, it's better if you, uh, if the animations were, whoop, were optimized for it, but, uh, hey. I'd rather have like some enemy are standing still and waiting than uh, being forced to play in 16 by 9 So, yeah. So far, it's working really... It's uh, looking at it fine, it's playing fine, everything working fine. Don't know how much like vari variety there's gonna be in the game you know so far this is everything's like it's not a lot of variety so far here but you have upgrades and it, maybe they, those are permanent would like to be able to see like you see uh, the thing here i would like to be able to press a button to see like what are the missions here Right, let's have a look at what is this. Ooh. Right, so I don't know how to get my HP back yet. Okay, that's... Maybe by the snack machines could work? Wow, and that reset. This is was a little bit annoying it resets the entire like map it's everything but what you have open um i think it resets the money and everything you get yeah i'm not a fan of that that mechanic But it, uh, so far it's it feels like a pretty nice and charming uh, game. That is uh, going to take some time to get used to. They cannot fire immediately. <laughs> Just you, you. I'm more used to uh, like a little bit of a grace period before enemies fire and stuff like that here. But they, they fire like immediately when you are in their 
my visual range there. Did I go this way right here? Yeah. I uh, remember to react fast on that one. That is a very interesting. It seems pretty fun and for like the price of 10 US dollars here, you know, depending on length and everything, it's, it's not so too bad or anything like that, so. I can't afford any upgrades yet. I wonder if those are permanent upgrades. I really would, uh, really curious about that, so. See, you gonna try. I'm missing. Holy crap. Right, it remembers that one. Don't, I think I need a WM to get like that. It looks like it's a yellow orb. Could be background, could be something that I can get. Not entirely sure yet. Shit. Yeah, I need to get back and try to see if I can. Oh, I can upgrade. Okay, I do want to get back. I want to see if eating the fruits will give me HP back. Okay, so these are the Ardelli tank that bots come. Okay, so these are like missions things. If you find that one, monitor, monitors 11 at this. Oh, okay, to the far right, I, I missed that one. It's uh, so far off that I missed it. So if I destroy crates and tank bots, fire extinguisher, one more fire extinguisher. Okay, to clear out that. Okay, so you have you don't need you have all the mission things that you can see. That's nice. Yeah, I would like to go back and try to upgrade to the beginning of the game here. That's and I also want to try to see if I can grab some fruits to see if that gives me HP back. The only thing I am not a fan of when it comes to the movement is obviously that I cannot use the D-pad because then I can't shoot diagon diagonally. And that I wish that the jump maybe have some kind of at the full speed maybe, but that's just something to get used to. 
it is just a tiny floaty thing here. Right, I wanted to try this one. Yeah, that's HP back. That's good to know. Let's try an upgrade. I'm guessing that probably double jump is, is good to get to reach different things. I want to see if this is a permanent if I die. Whee! Oh, you get a triple jump by that. Okay. Okay, not, not when I did that. There we go. Yeah, fixing the D-pad to be 8-directional let you rebind or at least make sure that the, the, the Steam input rebinding thing works. Adding graphical things like V-Sync or something like that is never bad. And since this is a very lightweight game, maybe some analyzing or upscaling, you know, MSAA or something could be possible. Oh, oops. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so when I have my double amp, I can't fire. Only fired during my my normal yum. I met. It's uh, interesting, but something to keep in mind. I don't know sh if I love that you can't fire when you are in like your second yum, but hey. I think it glitched out here. <laughs> I think I just find a glitch in the matrix. Yep. Yep, I am uh, soft locked. It seems like there's a lot of minor little things that just. Makes it feel not 100% ready for prime time, maybe. Yeah, this is completely bugged. I can't do anything here. You can only restart. And that removes my double jump by doing that. I keep my weapon upgrade, but my double jump is gone. This is uh, frustrating. That one is remain. Okay, but the things that okay. The things I'm open stays open, but like you need to like re destroy everything for it to work. Um. I do have my... Oh, maybe that's a... That might be a bug. My I keep my double jump, but if I feel like I keep my money also. Huh. Okay. So it is a permanent upgrade, the double jump, but... I felt that when I press restart... I don't know. There we go. I feel that I like reset my money things, but then I kept my W on. Hmm, not sure.
yeah i don't know this game gives me just a tiny little bit of like is this uh, polished <laughs> ready for prime time maybe some smaller little things here and there that might need some repolishing okay so maybe i have to do that to get all of those crates uh, i'm afraid that i'm gonna soft lock again though so i'm a little bit like do i want to do all of this i might soft lock myself here enemies will be super reactive to you and really ask fire immediately So we have my HP back. All right, there we go. We got the orb. I can get another upgrade. And the upgrades are permanent, it looks like. So let's... Uh... I just want to try to see that. I'm guessing this is a pretty short game and everything. And with how upgrades work. I wonder if... If you're going to get more upgrades later on. Or how it's going to be here. So... Oh, okay, so you get a dodge roll later on, but rapid fire. Right. Cool. Okay, so you might be able to get unlock even more things later on. Who knows? Let's go to the area where I got soft lock and see what happens. been down there oh okay that's supposed to be a weird glitchy thing I, i'm hmm yeah scary did i go down here Right, this is where I got soft lock. <laughs> Did I try this? Oh. Right, so I need to open, this is the exit, so I need to open that to be able to exit, okay. Oops, I did not mean to go this way, but alright.
Whoa. Down. But I'm still missing crates and we're missing... Okay, so this is... Well, I'm a little bit scared of this one. Yeah, what? Oh no, this is... Okay. This is the end of this... Uh... Huh. Yeah, I can't get past this one. So let me see, I have 416 coins. That resets the money. Yeah, that's a bug. I, I feel that's a bug. You, It resets your money, but you keep your upgrade, so you can pretty much get a thousand coins. Or something like that, when you have something like that. I don't know, this is a little bit bugged here, but okay. You get more upgrades, which is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna have to just run to the end to see... supposed to do this I don't understand how I'm supposed to do this what am I missing I'm, I'm stuck again here And I have to get that one to progress. Um. Huh. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is the end here. Uh, huh. Don't think I can get past this level. Maybe it's... Is it because I'm running in the, the wrong aspect ratio? I'm gonna try that. Um, I do quit. What's happening now? Do we have to restart from the beginning? I need to know if we do... I just need to know if it is... Wow, there's no... Oh, yo. Is this one... Is this the one that I started on? Okay. 
I hope this is the one. Yeah, 416. I seem to have that. I do have the double roll, hopefully, right? So let's try. Yes, okay. We'll see if we can get. I want to see if this is the bug here or not with the uh, ultra widescreen as the back ratio or not. No, 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 come on. It's not, it's not to do with the, uh, it's not to do with uh, the, the, the resolution. Um, well, I guess it ends here. Uh, da, 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 this look. Now this got bugged out. There we go. Yeah, interesting. Um, well, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like this is, uh, like, it seems very fun and interesting game. I like the idea, but I have no clue how, what to do now, since I can't progress here. And it's, it's like with the remapping and some of the options stuff, it's, uh... It feels like it's just a little bit of unpolished. So we're gonna... Unfortunately be stopping real soon here. That was a weird thing here. don't understand how that works sometimes I'm okay I could just jump up or that's good sometimes I was like being a catapult catap catapulted a different direction yeah because I can clear everything in the level but I can't I can't finish it unfortunately It, uh, it has a good nice core to it. Oh shit.
because when I when I enter that pipe it is supposed to just pretty certain break it but yeah that doesn't seem to be working Yeah, because you can see here, I need to open this yellow door, and that is what I'm doing. Oh, uh, not purple door. That's what I do with the thing down below. Which I... Which just isn't working for me. Unless I'm missing some place that I can go. I don't think so. Wow, that's... what? What? Okay, I did nothing different. <laughs> I did zero different. But this time it worked. This is quite interesting. Guys, I think I've done most of the missions. Okay, let's let's try one more stage something here um yeah we have a glitch bubble bug or whatever i don't know what's 
what that was, but... Right, you cannot shoot. I really feel like you should be able to fire when you double arm. Doesn't seem though that you can. It's definitely feeling a little bit weird that you can't double jump when a uh, fire when you double jump. Open a door. Again, I have no idea how long this is going to be, this game, but it's. I can, you know, it's. It is a lot of, you know, similarities so far. I don't know how much difference levels everything's gonna get, uh, but it's. it's alright. Interesting for sure. Watch out for grenade bots. Wait, never mind. Go, go blow up them all. So we have drones, grenade bots. They fire immediately. Seven out of fifteen. see information one coin one damage bonus one coin one heal and armor bonus Exactly what that meant there, but oh wait, that's just going back. Wait, what? Can you? Okay. It's quite an interesting level so far here. For sure. Oh, okay. I did not mean to do that, but what the hell? 
let's open up something there. Some Sonic Rings. You do drop sometimes, some... Sometimes you drop when you don't wanna... When you don't mean to drop down like a platform, you do drop anyway. Not sure what the... Skulls there means, so... Uh... I'm missing golden rings, a couple of golden rings. Huh. Double fire, more HP, dodge roll. Okay, so I cannot... No, oh, I forgot to... Oh, thank you. This one. That opens that. Golden rings missing. Right, so how do you break that one? Well, alright. Wow, you ass! Oh my god, okay, it saves... It saves that I've done it, it looks like. Jesus. I'm gonna just... I feel like it has saved my progress. I need to just get out. some HP though
No, man. I, I, okay. Can I, could I go to... I'm not sure exactly what the death is like. The penalty for that. So... It looks like I've done all the missions. So I probably don't need to do this. And why I'm getting hit there is because of the kind of floatiness of the dropping speed. That's why I would have liked to have a faster dropping speed. Sometimes to avoid getting hit. Yeah, sometimes to avoid getting hit, I would like to drop just a smooch faster. But alright, I should be able to just probably run to the end here. I believe so. It looks like it saves the mission that you completed, which is nice. I think if the exit was here, right? Right. Okay. Let's maybe see if we can get one more stage in of the pure nice gaming here. Okay, so. Okay, oh, that's good. That's a boss here, so... Holy... Jeez! <laughs> hmm... Maybe I should have gotten the dodge roll. Okay, this is uh Okay.
Oh wow, wow, that is... <laughs> That's a weird uh, boss here. He's a little bit crazy. Almost. So, all right. So the big thing here with uh, pretty much all the enemies and all the bosses is that they fire immediately. You have to pretty much re-react. You don't really have any like period of like, oh shit, I need to react. It's like they firing, and your kind of bit of a flow to speed means you're hit if you're not pre-actively anticipating and reacting to that. Um, you might like it or not. But you have to adapt to it. And I really wish that the D-pad would work with diagonal aiming. So that would help a lot here. And that I could remap so I could get to use my preferred binding. It's not that it's super difficult, it's more of the annoying uh, me a little bit, the, how the timing is. <laughs> and with, again, with the, like, try to lock diagonally. Like... Getting some of the timings down just feels weird. Okay, so you can cheese it. <laughs> All right, yeah. I know it's a fine boss and everything. It's just like the sum of the timing of. Like the spacing there between their fines so to dodge between them. Maybe if you again you could have gotten the dodge row, which would have helped. Um, but it's a little bit of a shame if you're almost necessary to have the dodge row. I guess I'm gonna have to get that one. Uh, oh, let me check something here. You don't know. Uh, right, there we go. One and a half. Okay, so this has a little bit of a different background setting here, at least. Let's play a little bit of this, but uh, it's probably really good of the uh, let's try. Oh. Okay. 
<laughs> it's so far off the Zuda side here, so I couldn't see what the heck is going on here. Okay, there was a, like a secret little... <laughs> ...mission there. Yeah. Movement wise, you know, again, I, it's something you have to get used to. I would have liked maybe more snappy feel uh, of the dropping or something like that. But the biggest thing with the, when it comes to the movement is that, you know, every time you double jump, you can't fire. And that really just doesn't really feel that great to me. Wait a minute, did I miss one of those down below? No, alright. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to unlock that. Again, I'm pressing jump there, but for some reason it just, with the analog stick something, it drops me down. And I don't know what's happening, why that is going on. So it's... it's there is a minor tweak in that uh, really could be needed to, for this game to really shine. But it is a very interesting one for sure. Cameras? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Again, it seems mostly fine with the aspect ratio here. Uh, using the aspect ratio of um, 32 by 9 seems mostly fine here. <laughs> I'm sure some enemies might not be reacting or doing, you know exactly what is doing in 16 by 9 but it's a minor thing that just doesn't bother me i just really more enjoy this i prefer and i enjoy the more horizontal view over that dodge roll i guess we need to get that or bosses or something like that HP up. Then again, there I dropped down. I was not pressing down to drop there, so. There are these little minor things that's just weird, and that could probably be mitigated with. With just getting a proper D pad support going. Holy shit! Uh, because having been forced pretty much to use the I'm, I'm pretty much forced to using the analog for the diagonal aiming 
which is uh, unfortunate. If it wasn't for the diagonal aiming, you know, the D-pad here would work perfectly fine. Okay, so even though it said press wider, it didn't work because I wasn't positioned correctly. that way wending machine okay, so that's the exit so I'm missing fire and stigmature and uh, oh I see there is a wending machine up top here Mission complete. So, what we are missing is... Oh. Oh, you have to destroy it like that. Fire stages. Down, flying social down. So, it is just those. So, I need to properly destroy. So, I probably didn't... Fire one of the vending machines completely. Right? Uh, she. Where was it? Uh, oh! Whoop. See, where could that have been? The vending machine? Not that way. I did destroy this completely. So what we need to find is the other vending machine. I know I saw it somewhere down here. This one. <laughs> Let's just exit out and be down here with this. Look here, this should be the exit. No, the exit is uh, the other one. Almost sometimes that it wouldn't have been bad with like a, a tiny map. Not, not super necessary, but hey. I am definitely getting a little bit lost here with every turn. Oh, 
There we go. This is good. Let's try of this game. Seems to be auto saving and everything, and I am. Yeah, you can't. You can't really. Can barely see myself here. There we go. Quit. Perfect. All right. So, guts and gruts, right? Let's see. It's cutting off the name there. <laughs> Yeah, guts and grunts. There we go. Uh, can I lie? A little bit of a counter like, I guess a little bit of Turkan like, according to, you know, the Steam page. And it seems pretty accurate. Uh, you know, you have a little bit of bro force action there with how some of the levels are in verticality. More so than the, the counter games. Uh, a little bit of, what was it? Uh, I'm thinking of another game completely blanking on me that was a little bit more like this but yeah so i like the graphics it's not something crazy but it it, it works it looks all right animation everything's obvious you gotta realize in the game 10 dollar euro price you're not gonna get the crazy stuff but it looks charming it looks nice it plays mostly fine um Again, the proper D-pad with diagonal aiming up, down, left, right, and stuff like that. Needs to be in this type of game. Needs. Because the analog is definitely not as precise as you want in this game. Maybe the some of the enemies that like they kind of like, as soon as you just are immediately in the hitbox they fire. Maybe like having just a frame or two more of a grace here before they fire or like your drop speed when you jump and then you start falling just a tiny bit faster something there because you pretty much have to like pre-react to an enemy firing you have no not a good amount of like reaction to something happening it's more like it is shooting you should have pre-reacted by turning around or like not making your jump too uh, too high because if you are going up and let's go of the button when the enemy is firing at you like you're not gonna fall quickly enough so you pretty much have to pre let go of your jump button so you just barely hit the the enemy's hitbox and start falling when it's you know firing kind of hard to explain but that is maybe something that i personally would wouldn't mind tweaking like the first boss there having when it's firing down those three and you and i try to like run past the it's almost felt like almost like a frame perfect thing like i had to really just be super precise there obviously you can get probably the dodge roll that helps you but as a first boss you probably could just space them just a tiny bit more that when it's firing down to give you that running speed past them more more in a more fun way there but yeah it seems you know it's pretty simple and i don't know how far the updates go but it's it's you know it's nine it's nice seems interesting fire rate more the more you fire the more you fire it faster there um you're gonna get like a double arm a double shot maybe you will get a spread shot and stuff like that and you have power-ups within the level fire double shots and stuff like that spread shots and um, it's the only big thing is that like i really don't like the you know don't being not being able to fire when i double jump that's like the biggest mechanical thing here that just like uh, sticks out and you know the levels they are you know they have a pretty similar time to win so you, you might feel that it gets repetitive who knows it's hard to tell it's just a few levels in and you don't know how long the game is but you know again for the price so far it's not a big deal for me personally you know so far here if this would have been like this type of game and this would have been like a 8 to 12 hour long game which i doubt it uh, then it would have been a problem but you know i'm guessing this might be three four hours long or something like that or if they add more variety later on to the game then you know if it is hits six hours i, I would be fine with it but it seems to be price well, price wise and gameplay wise a shorter game but uh, you know it's it's a, it's kind of like a mid thing here for me it's uh, interesting fun but it's nothing that is like immediately 
crazy, but it is in a fun level so far, nothing annoying, nothing crazy. Um, it's again, it's just a double jump that I want to really would love if I could fire when I do double jump and then the menu make the the d-pad work in the menu like i can't navigate the menu here have to use the analog stick proper d-pad support and you know controls proper rebinding um it it could also be a little bit of a tweak ability here because you know the game runs great here in 32 by 9 but maybe have a pillar boxed forced menu so you don't have this problem to uh, seeing what are like what the menu stuff are just make it a 4 16 by 9 menu options that's it perfectly fine it's no problem since uh, you know when you're in game it's fine you can tell that some enemies won't activate until they are within your widescreen aspect ratio and that's fine it still is much and you more enjoyable within that 32 by 9 aspect ratio but yeah make the menu just 4 16 by 9 and that's great make proper d-pad support so that you can uh, shoot diagonally with it and everything like that and rebinding of the controls uh, options I, I, you know obviously v-sync on off or something like that or maybe frame rate limiter upscaling maybe or some anti-lysing that's not I think the biggest thing here might be that people will like, you know, V-Sync on off and maybe like 30, 60, 90, 120, 144, 182, 40 something, some kind of frame limiter in conjunction with the V-Sync on or off. It seems that V-Sync is forced on because I am getting, you know, 120 frames synced to my monitor refresh rate. So also separate the sfx and music slider is what is needed some people want more music some you know louder music some want louder effects so they should be separated uh, master volume is also nice to have but it's not a requirement if you can adjust you know the volume and the music um, maybe some weird thing me getting stuck in the pipe there in the level one two world one level two which is weird like it just a little bit just polish here and there and this would have been you know a clear thumbs up thing here but it's a fun game a mid-tier game for me personally and it can vary depending on what you like up or down a little bit it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a top tier game it's just not but it's fine for the price and everything but i can i feel that you know if you like what you see you're probably gonna you know it's gonna be a fun little time so maybe give it a shot yeah that's it stay tuned for more you know let's try and stuff like that coming to this uh, youtube channel again if i do a playthrough of this game it's gonna be on my twitch channel i'm gonna move separate twitch for streaming and youtube for just let's try video stuff quick looks and other like that so leave a like comment if you want that to change you can leave a comment about that you want streaming to be youtube or let's play of games like this to be on the youtube comment about that otherwise i won't change that in the near future i don't think so and um, yeah that's it for now have a great day and bye